guys and welcome back. So in today's video we are doing a throwback Thursday and I thought I would do a old performance of Christina Aguilera from her first Spanish album. I think I've seen this performance but it's been at least 10-15 years I'm guessing because I don't I recognize it but I don't remember it if that makes sense. I might I might not have even seen it. I might have just seen like screen captures whenever I was on ChristinaMultimedia.com which was like a huge fan site. Um, I don't think it's still up but basically it was this huge server of Christina fans and we could share our videos, our mp3s, uh, photos. There was like every single photo taken of her ever was on this website and then they had this thing called um, like Christina Idol or something. It was kind of it was when American Idol was like really popular so the one people who could sing there was also like a, a karaoke track list of like anything that she's performed like including like Mickey Mouse Club stuff like old old school Christina um, I actually submitted the karaoke track to week you're welcome but um, people could submit themselves singing and then they took in votes of people who actually sang these songs and people actually got like eliminated every week and it was it was really cool. I think it was called like Christina Multimedia Idol or CMM Idol or something like that. It was a lot of fun. This is in like the early 2000s, you know, before social media was like a thing. So I had a copy. I still have a copy. What am I talking about? I had, I first got uh, her Spanish album Mi Reflejo when I was in Oregon, actually. I was up in Oregon visiting family in 2003. So how old was I? I was I was like 15. And of course I didn't have I had I don't I don't and of course I didn't have a debit card or credit card. So this was before like I could order music online and I didn't like asking my parents to order me stuff, but uh where I lived, the closest like store or whatever was Walmart. Walmart never had Mi Reflejo. I remember seeing it one time when I was like 12, and of course I didn't have any money. I couldn't buy it. And my parents weren't with me. I think I was with some friends. And of course I'm not going to ask their parents, hey, can you buy this for me? <sighs> so I had to wait. And I remember I had to go, We and I remember my mom and I, we went to uh, a Fred Meyer, I think. And just for fun like the thing I would do is my mom would go go get whatever she needed she'd do her grocery shopping and I would go hang out in the music department that's where she knew I would be and I found it and I was like I'm never gonna find this again like I had that in my head like they're never gonna make more copies of this I'm never gonna find this CD I need to buy this now so this time I actually had money I think I had money from like birthdays or something but regardless I had money to spend and I was freaking out thinking, I am never gonna find this again. I need to buy this now. <laughs> so I bought it and I remember the next couple of days I just sat there listening to this album over and over and over again. And something I like to do with uh, music that is not English, and this goes for any language, but primarily like Italian and Spanish, because um, that's really the only other music I listen to, sometimes French and Japanese, but that's beside the point. Anyway, um, I started doing this with Selena songs because I love Selena and of course it went into whenever I started listening to Christina Aguilera's Spanish music and other Spanish artists. Um, but I would like to take the the lyrics and look at them and translate what words I knew and then get my Spanish English dictionary out and translate the other words and try to figure out what the song was about. And it also helped me with uh, pronunciation and uh, conjugation and just things of that nature just to learn the language. Um, I can, I can't speak it very well. <laughs> I'm very slow when I try to speak Spanish and it might take me forever. And a lot of times me going, what, 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 if someone is speaking Spanish to me, but I can still read and write it pretty well. It sounds, it, it's kind of backwards and not normally how people are with languages, but that's how I am with Spanish. And for the most part, Italian, I'm trying to relearn Italian. I fell off the bandwagon, but anyway, um, we are going to be reacting to an old performance of Christina Aguilera performing Contigo en la Distancia. This is one of my favorites on this album. And I love that she still does it on her tours. Um, but I'm really excited. I don't remember this performance. Like I said, I don't even know if I've actually seen it or if it just looked familiar from like the photo. 
because I think I've seen a performance from the same time and it might not have been this song. I, I don't know. But regardless, we are going to react to it. So let's just jump into it right now. No existe un momento del día en que pueda apartarte de mí y el mundo parece distinto cuando estás junto a mí. Melodía en que no suras tú, ni yo quiero escucharla si no la escuchas tú. Amado mío, eso oh, es que te has convertido en parte de mi alma. Ya nada me consuela. So pretty. seen that one before ah, I just love her vocal breaks in this song it's so pretty and something I know that Christina does when she sings live she taps on the mic a lot I ended up doing that at a talent show or something like that and I didn't know I was doing it but when there's a song at least for me when there's a song that has a lot of riffs for me to be able to hit each note individually it helps for me to tap so I don't know if that's why she does it or if it's just like a tick she has when she's on stage I don't know why she does it but that's why I do it and it's something I've noticed that she does when she actually has to hold a mic on, on stage she taps her fingers on the mic and I remember my dad asking me once because he was watching I think I don't remember he was watching some concert of hers with me and he goes why does she do that is that like a timing thing and I was like I guess like kind of like and I told him why I do it, and he goes, oh, well, that makes sense. And he noticed, and I noticed, too, that she does it also. When there's a riff with a bunch of notes, she taps really fast, and she taps on the individual notes. Um, so I don't know if that's why she does it, but that's why I do it. It would make sense, but 
That was just so pretty. I always loved this song. I thought that I always thought this song was really pretty. I'm so happy that she covered it on her first album and that she still performs it, like I said. I think I'm gonna end this video here. So that's been it for this video. So if you like these kinds of videos where I react to things and ramble and also overshare my love and adoration for various artists, then please consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.